sustainability is a concept to a lot of people. What does sustainability mean? The nuts and bolts of it. What does it mean to be able to think about our human activities as a system? An interconnected system. I think most people recognize that there's something wrong with our society today. And people see it from their own perspective. Some people recognize the disconnect with the Aina, the lack of sustainability with our lifestyle, the amount of food that we import and rely on. Ulu is an answer to all of those things. Ulu has unique potential of all the crops in Hawaii today to really restore Hawaii's food security and to make us stronger and more resilient and prosperous as a community. And one of the core reasons is that ulu is one of the very few starches in the world that grows on a tree. For the most part, all our staple crops are short-lived annual crops. You know, cassava, potatoes, rice, wheat, corn, um, all of these things are these short-lived uh, plants that require a certain type of agriculture to grow. And that's really the agriculture that is developed into the large-scale monocropped agriculture we see today. So you want to clear the ground, you want to till it, you want to farm it for a period of time, you need to have lots of inputs. Because breadfruit is a tree, it allows a whole different form of farming. An agroforestry system or an orchard style system where the trees are not only producing food, but producing a whole range of other benefits. It will produce you enough mulch and compost to feed the rest of your yard. If you take a look underneath an ulu tree and the quality of the soil, the leaves that come off of it, even the fruit that you don't get to, if you stick that in a compost pile, it enriches that entire compost pile and it feeds the microbes that are in there, it feeds the worms, it feeds all of the invertebrates and the fungus, and it creates better soil. Trees sequester carbon, they're adaptive and resilient to climate change, they provide abundant amounts of food with relatively little human maintenance, and they are beautiful parts of our ecosystem that create habitat, shade, recreational space. It's anti-erosion. This tree was placed here specifically to keep water, to conserve water, and to reduce erosion. Although we say monocrop agriculture is the most productive type of agriculture, that actually is not well documented because a lot of these agroforestry systems have not been studied. And some of the studies that are out there show that these agroforestry systems can produce on the order of 15 tons per hectare of food, whereas the very highest yields of, of corn and wheat are more like 10 to 12 tons per hectare. So these systems might actually be more efficient. The issue is that we've invested hundreds of billions of dollars into monocropped agriculture. Um, we've researched them to death, and meanwhile, we've not even really looked at alternative indigenous ways of growing food. And so we think breadfruit can be one of the things that help lead that investigation into this whole different way of farming. I like to describe ulu and the way that the co-op processes ulu as the entry drug to sustainability, right? It's the gateway drug. Because once you taste it, and then once you understand what it is and what it does and where it comes from, and where it goes, you're more apt to try something else and replace the imported potato. Replace all of these products that have a massive carbon footprint. We have more knowledge than ever before and yet we're heading on a crash course because we're not placing that knowledge in the context of what is important to us. What is the world we want to build and what is the relationship we want with our planet and with the other people on it? And it's those things that to me are perpetuated through these stories and through the relationship with our crops that's most important. If you really teach children to be systems thinkers, and adults too, to be able to look at any item, any activity, any action 
Take it apart. What did it take to make it? Was it extractive? Was it regenerative? What is it that we're gonna do when we throw it away? What's away? What does away mean? Replace, it's hard to think of everything is connected all the time, but it is. It really, really is. Even the teeny tiny things that we do every day, it adds up. That's one of the most wonderful things about the co-op. They're representative of a new consciousness. If you incorporate ulu into your diet, even starting just once a month, you have already contributed actively to a better future for Hawaii and for yourself. Ulu is better for planet, better for our economy and our communities, and better for your health. <laughs>